Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estáis? Hi there everyone, it's the 15th of May 2016. This is part two of Roots and Flora, sponsored by Cassia Venturilla, a nature-loving group of intrepid hikers. Jesus is our guide, and Alex is behind the camera there. Today we're doing an alternative of the GR10, from Sigar to the Garby Gully and Scree. We're in Sigar, 270 meters above sea level, 35 kilometers from Valencia, in the Movedri region. Right in the heart of the Sierra Calderona. Enjoy the documentary and see you later. The GR blazers or signposts show us which direction to take along the road. And the vertical craggy rock slope which we'll climb up immediately attracts our attention. We realize straight away that it's going to be an appealing route and somewhat complicated in parts. Soon we're drawn into closed bushy surroundings and pathways. And at times we can relish the views through open windows which attract our attention so. Well my good friends, first of all we're warming up and checking out our breathing enough to face up to this intrepid climb. The Gabi Couloir. Please follow me and I'll see you in a minute. The roughness and chaotic couloir or gully of the Garbi puts our sense of adventure to the test. Oof! And it goes up and up and up. Some of the most complicated parts we get over by pulling ourselves up with the chains, which were fixed here some time ago. When we finally face the final part of our ascent, we make a short stop to note down our impressions and leave them in the hiker's post box that awaits us on the GR10. So hikers, we've practically reached the summit of the gully and this is the GR10 diary. You can write your own impressions and comments about the Garby climb in it. From my point of view, you need to be quite fit and prepared to climb up here through the gully. So, I wouldn't recommend it to inexperienced walkers. Anyway, I've really enjoyed myself climbing up here today, and I hope you will too, on the day when you decide to have a go. After this technically complicated part of our route this morning, we can now enjoy the easy path up towards the Garby Lookout to find the first plant which we want to show you. 
Having reached the summit above the gully, we're entering into the world of the flora. This is the first plant we've chosen, scientifically known as Anthelia cystoides, from the Fabaceae family, known as Albaida or Albada in Valencia. It's not used for medicinal purposes, but in the past, our ancestors made brooms out of it. Now we set our sights on the open landscape around us and find the icing on the cake, which is this unbeatable place where the Hermitage and the Garby Lookout are located. And so we return along the same pathway until we arrive at the head of the Garby Colwa. Here we are! We've arrived at the Hermitage and the Garby Lookout, so now we can contemplate the magnificent views over the Gulf of Valencia. Just look! Sedum sediformis. Sedum sediform, from the Gracilaceous family. This plant is locally known as Uña de Gato, Raimete Pasto, Crespinei. It's very often used in pickle making, so of course we can taste this herb in our salads and pickles. Dictamnus Hispanicus. El Timo Real, one of my favorites. However, it is toxic and should be protected too, as it's an endangered species. And here we have Lavandula stoichas, belonging to the Labitae family, commonly known as Cantueso, Bofarul, Tomani, with medicinal properties used as a detoxin, anti-rheumatic, anti-hemorrhoidal. And what's more, its pollen is collected by the miraculous bees, so we can taste it in honey. We are now going to climb up to the Garby Flat Summit. A pass allows us to follow yet another alternative of the GR10, so we can then go down to reach Sigan. However, the pathway becomes rough and stony, making walking more complicated. Here's the scree, which is the way we've chosen to go. So let's cross over and drop down towards Sigart. See you! We cross the screen and the path becomes easier. Let's take another moment to make the most of this mountainside and show you some more flora. Sisters Montpelliensis, commonly called Jara Negra. Another name is Estepa Borrera. It's astringent and antiseptic, used externally on our skin. Coronilla de Fray, or Bishop's Crown in English. Pistacia lentiscus, lentiscle or lentisco. A 
On this path we find Camerops humilis, palmito, or margallo. In English it's known as the dwarf palm, Mediterranean dwarf palm. Soon we believe in the path to continue down the track. Well, here we have the Smilax aspera from the Liliaceae family, commonly known as Arichol, Sarsaparilla, Zazaparilla. It's one of the best blood and skin cleansers that we know, and the root is what is used. At last, we drop down into the shaded part on our hike, the Font Ravine gives us its own particular species and at the same time it guides us back to where we began in Sigart. We are now in the shade and here we find one of its most representative plants El Polypolium cambricum. It belongs to the family of the Polypodiaceas. It's also called Polypodio or Herba pigotera because it has vesicles on the underside of its leaves. So, we have reached the end of this interesting cigar route, where our five senses have been put into action, enabling us to have enjoyed this short but intense, colorful trail. We are back in Sigart, back to where we started from. I hope you like this loop trail we've been on together and enjoy this documentary too. Hope to see you on our next Cassia Venturilla. Bye!